Hello, my crafty friends. I shared with you how I made this awesome pumpkin topiary, but today I'm gonna to share with you how I made this awesome planter for the topiary. And this planter was actually very, very simple to make using stuff I already had at home and a few things from the Dollar Tree. It all just goes away. The things I plan to say, oh baby. So these are horse supplement containers that I have a lot of and I didn't want to waste them so I wanted to see if I could turn these into something useful like a planter. So the first thing I had to do was remove that handle. It's really heavy duty and it's on pretty well so I did use some snips. I think these are tin snips but they worked pretty well to remove that handle from the square bucket. And then I just use my hot glue gun because I want to secure the lid in place because I'm gonna stack the other one on top of it. So I just put the lid back on after applying some hot glue. And once that was in place, then I used some E6000, just like four dollops of it onto the lid because I really want to make sure that this is going to stay in place and it's not going to come apart. And for that instant grab, I did use a little bit more hot glue. And then I took the second supplement pail and put it on top of the first one. So now this is gonna make a really nice tall planter. So this is actually a pretty tall container now, but I don't want to have this looking like supplement boxes. So I took a piece of foam board that I got at the Dollar Tree and a handy subway knife. And then I roughly measured on the foam board of how tall the planter will be. but don't throw away this piece. We need to keep this piece for later. And then I just measured off again, roughly each side of the boxes. And then I just used a subway knife and cut through the foam board. It works really well. This subway knife is so helpful for cutting through this foam board. It works great. So if you can find a subway knife, I highly recommend it. The way that I cut this foam board, I actually ended up with three pieces that I can secure in place onto the pails. And then using my hot glue, I just put a little bit of hot glue on the pieces that kind of protrude out from the pails. And then I secured the foam board in place. And I wanted it to be a little bit nicer at the top edge, so I did use the straight edge on the top of the pails. And then I just repeated this process with the remaining pieces of the foam board. Now you'll see I only have three pieces, but remember I did save that longer, skinnier piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half and I'm going to secure it to the pail as well. And then I took that remnant piece. This is the fourth 
piece of the foam board, I guess you could say, or fourth side we're covering. And it was actually just perfect to cover up that last side of the planter. I really liked doing it this way because then I didn't have to fill in any nooks and crannies of all of the different levels that are on the pails. And the hot glue works really well to hold the foam board in place. So there are my pails all covered and now they're really looking like a planter. So now I'm just gonna use some packaging tape. I don't really know what this is other than packaging tape. And I'm just going to go from corner to corner and seal up that empty space that's around the long sides of the where the foam board connects together. Now it doesn't matter if you use duct tape or what kind of tape. It just helps to give a nice clean edge to where the foam board pieces join together. And this was the tape that I had on hand, so this is what I used. And I just wanted to show you a different angle. You can see down in that corner, the foam board doesn't quite come together. Well, by taping it in place like this, it helps to keep it so that it's all together and it looks like it's a solid corner. So now here is the magic. This is the trick. You take some spackling paste and just smear it all over the planter. And I've done a planter video in the past where I used caulking, but this worked really well because I wanna make these planters kind of look like wood. And the spackling paste is actually a very affordable option. You can find it at Home Depot, Walmart, even on Amazon. And then I just rub that spackling compound all over all four sides of the planter. And once I was done with the spackling compound, then I brought it outside. And if there's any rough spots, you can always just use your gloves and run your hands over it. Now see, the spackling compound isn't exactly perfect, but that's okay. I think it does look like wood. So while that was still wet, I did take some spray paint and spray paint the spackling compound because I really want to make sure this is not going to chip off. And I found in the past with other projects that painting the compound while it's still wet really helps the spray paint to adhere to it. And it doesn't matter if you get runs because you really can't tell when you have this much texture on a surface. And now I want to make sure that top edge is all filled in because you can't tell that it's a planner if it's got like an edge around it, right? So I just used some painter's caulk and I just filled in all around the top edge between the pail and the foam board. And then I just used my fingers to smooth everything down on the top edge. and then blended any of the excess from the top down to the sides. And then I allowed it to dry overnight before bringing it back inside to paint it. 
Now to paint this planter, I'm just using folk art wax. I like the color of it and I think it will really make it look like it's a stump of wood. So I just used a thicker paintbrush and I just painted a pretty heavy coat of the folk art wax onto the planter. And once I was done with the wax, then I took a lighter color. This is just a tan acrylic paint and just kind of painted in a little bit to give some accents. And again, it really looks like wood. I think you know by now, I really love painting like this. It adds some extra dimension and character to the piece that you're painting. And once the paint was completely dry, then it was okay for me to take my planters outside and decorate my front porch. I took my pumpkin topiary and secured that in the top. And this is my end result. I am so happy with how these turned out. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a long time to show you, you don't have to buy expensive planters. You can make them yourself. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.